let's go to the backing vocals, the doubles. Well, I did something really crazy here. At first, I just took out the minus 6 dB again, um, just to compensate with uh, probably clipping here. And um, then I went in and took the Waves doubler. Uh, I loaded the basic doubler and took out the center vocals. So it sounds like this right now. Time passes away. Yeah, we want the vocals to be more spread, to be more wide. Um, and this is why I decided to do this, uh, because I only recorded one backing vocal here. Um, and uh, this is spreading the vocals in, uh, in, uh, in, into stereo, uh, which will help to make the uh, to let the vocals uh, sound more wide. Um, well, yeah. Then I added a delay. Um, I wanted to, uh, the backing vocals to be really wet because I don't have any uh, delay or reverb on my main vocals. So I decided to make them really wet. And uh, yeah, I did a, a fourth note and a fourth dotted note over here. Uh, decided to put like 30% uh, wetness on them, feedback to 50% uh, and the filtering here from 51 to 440. Um, yeah, and it sounds like this. It helps to, to spread the vocals a little bit. Um, and to even everything out, I added a reverb. Uh, this is the Lexicon reverb, uh, one of the, the plugins. And um, yeah, I decided to, as I said, to make it really wet. Uh, this is 36% uh, 30 per uh, wet. Um, I have a pre-delay of uh, 33 milliseconds and a reverb time of 3.5 seconds. Um, I played around with the EQ here a little bit, and this is what came out. Sounds really wet, but as I said, this is a backing vocal. And uh, together with the main vocals, it sounds really good and uh, nice. Because the main vocals sound crisp and clean, because they don't have any wetness and reverb or whatever on them. Um, yeah, but uh, the backing vocals will make the panties wet. So listen. Time passes away, but this time even memories won't stay. Yes, this really helps to, to make it more wide. Um, the next step are the vocal harmonies. As I said, I did the trick over there. Uh,